There we go. Unmute the microphone, Paul. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, yeah, if, if you can hear me and see me, uh, then please let me know. Uh, the chat doesn't appear to be showing on screen. Uh, so I'm just going to switch across to there. Uh, yeah, there's a 20 second delay from when these are going out. So I'm not quite sure why this chat window here isn't showing up. Uh, let's select that. There we go. Right, the chat window is showing up there. So yes, let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. I am going to be doing an unboxing video of this. <laughs> we may be here a while. Um, right, Sven says you can hear me. Thumbs up. Right, excellent. I have my pair of scissors. I am not going to try and cut my nose off with it. Uh, that's a reference to my latest BGG threat. Right, so st quick story about this. Um, I don't back that many games on Kickstarter, right? The last game that I really backed on Kickstarter was Gloomhaven three years ago. Now, if you go and look at my Kickstarter profile, you will see that I do actually back a whole load of games. But what I'm doing is I'm backing a lot of games at $1, especially from clients, projects that I'm involved in. I want to support them a little bit so that I can get in the credits. Me actually backing a game that I'm excited about, that I want, that that doesn't happen. Because um, I just I just don't. Until this. Somebody to told me about this game. I was super excited about it. I caught it on the last day um, of the Kickstarter campaign where you could get like a group pledge and you get all, you get six copies and you get a real good discount and everything else. And the fear of missing out kicked in. And I looked at it and I spoke to my partner who I'm probably going to be playing this with and said, look, should I do this? It's expensive. I've already got 400 games that I don't get round to playing. Are we going to actually do this? And we decided we were going to back it. So I was a backer of this game. How have I managed to get a copy now when nobody else has got a copy? And I'm not bragging. It's because since backing the game, uh, about a month or two ago, Awakened Realms contacted me and they wanted me to create the official how to play videos for this game. And I was like, oh, right. So the only game recently, you know, in the last three years that I've actually backed because I want it, I'm going to get a copy of it anyway. And they want me to start working on the game. Right. <laughs> so there you go. It, I, I think it's an interesting story anyway. Because I am now going to be professionally involved in this project, you're not going to hear any opinions of the game from me. Um, because basically Awaken Realms are commissioning me to create some videos for the game. Not this one. This is not a paid for video. I'm doing this just for fun because I've set the studio ready for the live streaming tonight. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, you won't see me now because I'm going to switch to this camera. What I will tell you, can we see the chat or is it a bit small? It's a bit small. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger now that I know how to do this. Is that about right? Yeah, that'll do. Let's make it a bit bigger still. Right. OK, so um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm getting here. Right. So in the chat, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me what I've got. Now, this is a big box. It's eight kilograms. And I think they said they've sent me stuff, not just the base game, but I think they've sent me um, lots and lots of stuff. I'm going to have to stand up for this. This is just crazy. So, yeah, so I'm going to unbox it. I don't really know what I'm getting. But this is the first mass production copy. OK, so you've probably seen stuff before. You've probably seen unboxings before. You've probably seen some playthroughs. They were prototypes. This is the first actual mass production copy, which was flown over by private jet um, by Martin himself from Awakened Realms. No, not quite. Now, so what have we got first? Let, let's move this out of the way for now and see Ah, now, do I want to open this? Are you going to open the surprise box? Right, I, I don't know what this surprise box is. I don't want to open this if the spoiler's in it. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this to one side for now because Martin said he was going to, he was going to join in the chat later on. And I want to know whether this is something that I should be opening on camera because the last thing I want to do is give any spoilers away and I had no idea what this was. So that's going over there for now. Right. Let's go back to this box and let's take everything out. Oh, well, right. You know, I like sleeves, premium board game sleeves. Now, I'm going to take everything out of the box first because this is, oh, I do like a bit of good artwork, not giving my opinions. 
really hard not to give my opinions when I see something and it looks really pretty. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> oh, and, and we got more stuff. What's this? Oh, and there's more. Oh my gosh. Oh, dropped them. Right, that is everything out of the box. So, right, I don't know what this is. This feels like metal coins. Right, I'm going to open, I'm going to open this first because this feels empty. And I don't know whether it's supposed to be empty, but I have an empty box. Now, now on it, it says premium board game sleeves, which I was quite excited about because I do like, I do sleeve my games. Um, especially if the cards are getting shuffled. So when Martin comes on the chat, I have an empty box here and I'm not sure it should be empty. Um, so anyway, there we go. Right, this is Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Right. Oh, I did it. I don't need the scissors now. Oh, I might need the scissors. Right, what have we got? So, we have a little booklet that says, shall I zoom in a little bit now that we're... Do, 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 do. That's the noise the camera makes, that, that wasn't me making silly noises. Right, we have a start here book, an open and play guide that will help you set up and start your first single player adventure. Ooh, that's quite good, because what's probably going to happen is me and Vicky are going to play this together but we're going to play it as a single player. So this is perfect for us. We will go through this. We will play the solo game, but we'll play it as a couple. Uh, right, okay. So that's nice. It's four pages. That's not going to scare people off too much. Uh, and Elias is saying, if you back to the sleeves, they will come in the box. Right, okay, I get that. But if you didn't back the sleeves, you've got an empty box. So I'm going to have to get some sleeves for playing this. As soon as possible um and again this is not the copy that i backed this is a copy that awaken realms have sent to me in order for me to start creating the video the copy that i've backed will be arriving at the same time as everybody else's i guess uh right so what have we got now we have a rule book yeah free box says Sven. <laughs> thank you we have a rule book now you know my opinion on rule books um I will be going through this very carefully and we will see. Um, we, I, I don't know. We, I, I have no idea what this rulebook is like. It might be good. It might not be good. I don't know yet. I haven't actually opened it. Um, so yeah, we will, we will see. But we are 24 pages. I mean, the initial impressions, just looking at the layout, it looks, it looks fine from a layout point of view. And not all of them do. Right, rule book. What have we got now? Now. I don't know. This must be a packaging thing. Oh, I know why. Oh, this is a good idea. Right, because this is the exploration journal. See, I can read. It's a skill that I learnt a few years ago, reading out loud. Um, it's coming very, very useful. So this piece of cardboard here is simply to protect the ring binder, which is really because if they didn't do that, this would have got completely bashed um, in, in shipping. So yeah, so yeah, good call on that. Whether they've learned from other people's mistakes um, or just somebody told them to do it, then yeah, that's a good call. Am I going to be able to get in? Maybe, maybe not. Now, exploration journal. I'm assuming this is what you use when you're playing the game. So I don't want to look too much at this because of spoilers. But what is the exploration journal? Using it. And then 101. Right, okay. Yep, not going to look too much further, but this is big. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I don't know what these are, but these are on nice. This is nice 
like parchmenty type paper. We have some letters. I don't know what they are, so if somebody can tell me what these letters are, great. Um, we also have, oh, I like this. This is, I like maps. Um, I was a, a role player. I played D&D for years and years and years, and I used to make all my own maps, and I used to draw them, and then I used to soak them in tea, and then burn the edges. Yeah, I used to make maps like this. So we have four maps which all look the same. So again, if you can let me know in the chat what these maps are and what these letters are, because I don't know. We also have Tainted Grail Full of Avon Save Sheet. So this is presumably for when you save your progress, because it's a campaign driven game. Intro letters to all the characters, Elias says. Okay, thank you very much. That's a nice touch. Um, so yeah, you save your, your, your campaign progress from one scenario to the next, and that's what you use that for. There's a lot on there. Right, so Neve, I'm guessing this is a promo character because it's, it's loose. Silica gel, keep that safe. Don't let the cats get that. Um, okay. So I guess, yep, yeah, that, that is the character card. So I don't, I'm not sure how many characters there are in this game. Oh, right, how many layers do we have here? Oh, I think it's just one. <laughs> I was trying to reach down and lift up that to see if it was another layer, but it's not. Is this going to open? Is this going to open? Yeah, there's probably an easier way of doing this. Oh, oh right, okay, they're inside. Should have taken them out first. So what have we got here? We have, well, it looks like character boards. You can tell I backed this game and then forgot all about it. I mean, I did look into it at the time, but all I know is it looked like some kind of uh, fantasy, King arthur -y, cooperative game with a bit of Seventh Continent in, and I wasn't a big fan of Seventh Continent, to be honest, but this looked a lot different than that, uh, with a campaign-driven feel and character progression and all of that sort of stuff. So we have here, just move that off to one side, we have one, two, three, four. We have four of these character boards, but it looks like this is an extra character that you can pop out that one and pop in that one. That's really cool. These are double layered. So I assume, oh, let's get rid of that. I assume there's going to be cubes that go in these. So these are quite nicely done. But yeah, so it looks like there's four characters, but there's actually five characters in the game and you can swap that one out for whatever you want. Right, that's what those are. Now then, the miniatures. Now, I think he sent me the Sundrop miniatures. I've never had Sundrop miniatures before, but I have seen pictures of them. Uh, these look quite a bit darker than normally. Now I've zoomed in so there's less light on the camera, but let's see if it's gonna focus. If I just keep it still, is it gonna focus? It might focus, it might not focus. Yeah, it's kind of focusing, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, so that looks amazing. Now, when I've seen pictures of Sundrop miniatures, they're kind of the same light gray that the plastic is. This doesn't look light gray at all. This looks a kind of yellowy brownie, which, I mean that, I'm not a big miniatures person, okay? So I don't understand all of the molding technology or, or anything like that. And I know that miniatures have come a long way and they're very, very detailed, but that's incredible. Yeah, these, these are mightily impressive. And to be honest, I, I wouldn't feel the need to paint these because of how good they, they look. So yeah, the, these have come out really well. If there's any, particular character you want me to show in more detail uh, then then please let me know uh, Elias is saying looks far better than the green than the plain the, the clean gray plastic yeah absolutely they do um, is that gonna focus there uh, no I think I need to put my hand in front of it the camera to get it to focus come on focus there you go focus and then no not focusing. No, never mind. There's probably a trick to it. Do you do something like that? Do you put something else in front of it? Yeah, that's how you do it. There you go. Paul, he's worked it out. So yeah, for those people who ordered the Sundrop, 
I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Um, I can't remember what I ordered on my pledge, but my pledge will now be being used for other purposes. I might use it as a giveaway on my Patreon campaign, or, or I might sell it since I, I paid my money for it. Um, anyway, look at these cards. We have cards. I like cards. Um, now, as I say, it looks like I didn't... Um, it looks like I, I haven't got the sleeves, so... Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox I'm not gonna unbox all of the cards, but I am just gonna open some of them just to see what they are like quality wise. And you are gonna get Paul's honest opinion here on the cards. They're thick. I mean they're not super super th yeah, but these are big cards. I have I have unboxed games before where the cards were a bit thin. These are not thin. Okay, these are good. They're not linen finish, but that's fine. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the linen finish anyway. Yeah, these are, these are good quality cards. So I don't know if these get shuffled or not, but I do not have sleeves for those. Um, these cards, and I'm just going to pick a random pack in the middle. These are normal CCG style cards. And I have, well, I did have <laughs> a few hundred spare sleeves, but I've been sleeving my Arkham Horror game and I now don't have many sleeves left but I'm going to have to sleeve these. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this up. For those people who don't know anything about the game, here we go. I'm just going to hold up this card here, if I can get it right. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? Yes. That's a lot of information on a card. And for somebody like me, who is a medium to heavy Euro gamer, I look at this card and I go, I'm going to like this game, just because it looks like you know my level of complexity we will see i am going to need to get my glasses out though because that's a lot of cards uh, that's a lot of stuff on a card so yeah we have lots and lots you can you can see if i if i actually put the box in the right position there we go you can see that there's a lot of cards here uh and we've got some more cards here and then we've got some more cards here we've got little cards as well um so yeah I know I don't have any sleeves for this size of card, so I'm going to have to get some of those. What else have we got? We have little red cubes. And, oh, purple. Now, my favourite colour is purple. So, this makes me very happy. Nice. Yeah, these are nice, nice smooth edges. And if we go back to the character cards, I am going to make a leap of faith so far. Ah, Martin is here. Hello, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what was the question I had? I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, why why are there four maps? Is it that each player gets gets a map? That was my first question. And the other question was, I seem to have a box that says it's got sleeves in it, but it doesn't have sleeves in it. So does that mean if you didn't back it with the sleeves, you still get the box and you get a free box? Um, oh yeah, eye ties here as well. I'll ask you about the um, surprise box. Don't don't go away, Martin. I'm just I'm just showing these. So. Do these cubes go in here? I, I'm not sure if they do because they don't fit. So if these cubes are supposed to, oh no, they do. Do they? Uh, they don't fit. Right, these purple cubes don't fit in these holes here. Purple cubes are a tiny bit bigger than the red ones. Right, so the purple, thank you. I was about to say, are the cubes a different size? So let's get some red cubes out, which are just as pleasingly smooth. And these do fit. Yay! And they fit perfectly. Right, okay. So the purple cubes do not go in these slots here. Uh, the purple cubes go in other places. Um, there we go. Right. Um, so Martin is saying the maps are one per player and the other question is no you will not. So when you say no you will not, do you mean the sleeve box? So if you if you didn't back the sleeves, you shouldn't get the box. But I've got the box and no sleeves. I don't mind because you've sent me the copy. I'm just I'm just letting you know I got a box that said it had sleeves in. Uh, ah, you've shipped an empty box. Right. So if you backed it normally, you wouldn't get the box if you didn't back the sleeves. That's fine because it's it would be a bit confusing, and I can imagine backers not remembering, like me, for example, what they backed. Dice. We only have two dice. I'm going to zoom in on these dice. I'm going to zoom in as far as I can go. Oh, he says I'm going to zoom in as far as I can go. I didn't realise my camera would zoom in 
that much. And I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to show the dice on here because these are pretty detailed. Uh, looks like this is some kind of directional dice, east, south. Yeah. Uh, and this presumably is just a number dice, but it's, it's quite fancy. So, yeah, I like something a little bit different than like that. Um, yeah, we'll go back to the, the surprise box in a, in a minute, I tie. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish this box, finish this box first. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. I'm making a complete mess of everything, but that is it for that box, right? So, let's put that away and move on. That is presumably the base game box. Okay, so I'm gonna move that to one side, and we're gonna get monsters of Avalon, right? Let's see what we've got in here. My guess is minis. And yes, oh and nice, we have a picture telling us <laughs> how to put the minis back. Because I have a copy of Lords of Hellas and um, I got the minis out the other day to show my partner because she's thinking of painting some of them. And then she, she was laughing at me as I was trying to get them back in the box and there's only six of them. So thank you very much for including a photo on where, uh, where things go. And um, look at these. So again, this is the grey plastic that you would normally get and I thought Sundrop was just basically a black wash over these but look at these it's the same as the as the other ones so yeah well done to Awaken Realms because these are not just Sundrop miniatures well they are Sundrop miniatures but they they look very very good and they've got this really nice um yeah so I'm going to zoom in a bit more I'm just uh, I'm just playing around with the zoom on my camera because I can. Right. So what is this one? I don't know, but it looks like lots of skeletons. Yeah. I mean, this is a nice miniature. Oh yeah, you can see all the hands coming up from below. Right. So there's that one. Again, if there's any particular miniature you want me to get out and look at, this one looks cool. Then let me know. But this is some guy on a horse. Yeah, I'm showing my ignorance here, not, not actually knowing much about, about these things. And I've, I've gone and put that away wrong already. I don't want to break the spear. It's got a spear. Let's check the picture. Right, the spear goes like that. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep, there we go. Right. Um... So, Board Game Exposure is saying that every game has improved with the sun drop. Can it get any better? Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, what's this? Oh, this looks cool. What's this one? Uh, I don't know. It looks like some kind of tree man thing. But anyway, right, we're focusing a lot on the miniatures, but there's a lot of them and they look really good so that is uh the fall of avalon that is monsters of avalon so back to the surprise box let's zoom out again oh alan's saying can i put a mini on a light background yeah okay let's get let's get another mini out let's get this one and let's zoom in again this is just for you alan and you want it on a light background what have I got here that will work as a light background? I have this. Okay, how's that? So this is some kind of thing, angel-y thing with a, with a goat's head, ram's head, whatever, holding two lanterns with a chain. Yeah, so yeah, you can see the detail has really come out. Um, yeah, right, so that's enough of the minis. Uh, Lord Maud Discottis is, is asking about the other components. Yes, I've covered, I've covered the other components already. It was just the miniatures that I had left to show. Uh, we have the plastic cubes. Um, we have what we don't have in this game is we don't have um, actual cardboard tokens. There's none of that. There's just lots and lots of cards. Um, and there's these as well. Ah, these are the metal coins or metal. Oh, these are wow. These are big and chunky. Yeah. Okay. You can probably hear these uh, rattling, but 
Yeah, wow. Now, I have seen in the other box there were some, I think, plastic tokens of these. But these are the metal ones. And again, I don't know what these are. Um, Toby's saying you missed the shiny minis. Just rewind the video. You can rewind it. Now, Martin, if you're still there, we have this. We have a surprise box. And I don't know if I should be opening this on camera. Let me know if you want me to open this on camera. What I'm going to do is I'm actually, before we finish the video, I'm going to switch back to me for a minute. There we go. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat uh, now. Because what I'm going to do, uh, oh, and tonight, just in case you're interested, I am doing a live stream of Arkham Horror the Card Game starting at 7.30 UK time. Um, yeah, so a quick plug for myself. But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of opening this now. So if you don't want to see what's in this, thank you very much for watching. Um, please support me on Patreon if you like the content that I make. And watch out for some more videos for Tainted Grail coming over the next few months. I can't promise exactly when they are going to be coming out. But thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be opening this now. Okay, so this is your last chance. Switch off now if you don't want to see what's in this. Right. Let's go back to the overhead camera. And let's... Let's clear all of this out of the way. I tell you what, my friends that are coming around tonight that are going to get to see this, I think are going to be happy that they're friends of mine. In fact, it might be the only reason why they're coming round, because they knew I was getting this. They're probably thinking, yeah, Paul, we'll come round. We'll play Arkham Horror with you. We don't really want to. We just want to see Tainted Grail. That's probably what it is. Anyway, right. So we have, we have this. Uh, right. Now, on the back is the ISS Vanguard. And somebody told me about this. This is, I believe, Awaken Realms next game. I'm a science fiction fan. So Awaken Realms, thank you very much. I would love to be involved in this one. But I'm going to open it. Are we ready? It's probably, might be disappointing. I don't know. There's also other bits that I forgot to show you from the other game. But never mind. Right. So we have this. It's an art book for the ISS Vanguard. We have an almanac of Avalon and we have a private letter, which I'm not going to open this. OK, I'm not going to open this letter or should I? Let me know. Do you want me to open this letter? I think I might, but let, let me know. Right. So the almanac of Avalon. Right. This isn't a small book. This is something I'm, I'm going to I'm going to be going to bed with. Um, yeah. So it looks like it's kind of historical stuff all about what things are and it's quite nice and it's a nice little book and yeah right so there's the almanac of avalon that's what's in that and let's have a look at this so i don't know much about this but um i i need to be speaking with awaken realms to say look do you want me involved in your next game as well because as i say i do like science fiction i've just finished watching star trek discovery season two uh Right, so, and I do like, I do like good artwork, so, yeah, so if this is their next game and they've already got the art book out for it, it's a new upcoming board game from Awaken Realm. So this is a little unusual. There is an art book for a game that isn't actually out yet. This is, this is really good marketing. <laughs> Get people excited by, um, yeah, by giving them an art book for an upcoming game. So this is quite cool. Yeah, very colourful artwork in here. Right, I'm not going to spoil it all by looking at it. Right, so the general vote of consensus is I'm going to be opening the letter. So remember, this was in the, uh, what was it called? The surprise box. Now, I don't have my glasses. So this is basically, uh, dear backer, thank you very much. Here's what's in the thing. Right, okay. Not, dear Paul, we love your stuff. Here's 10 packs of Jaffa Cakes, which is a bit disappointing. But anyway, yeah, this is just a nice letter from Awaken Realms to say, thank you very much. What's in it? 700 cards, 100,000 words of story, 1,000 unique artwork in the core box. Um, yeah, it is a big project. There's a lot going on. Yeah, and the art, the art is nice. So anyway, that is it, I think. Let's go back to me, because you've seen enough of the game. You just want to see me. Right. 
Thank you very much to everybody for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. The studio is now ready for the live stream of Arkham Horror tonight, although I've got to put this away. Um, I'm going to take it downstairs, actually, so Vicky can look at it when she gets home from work and um, drool over the miniatures. What I'm going to be doing with this game, first of all, I am going to be playing it with Vicky, just the two of us. We're going to be playing through, as I mentioned, the, the introductory solo scenario, but we'll play that as a couple. Um, that's not going to be live streamed because Vicky doesn't want to be on camera. We're going to see if it's the kind of game that she likes. If she doesn't, then I am going to find other people to play with. If she does, this is going to be a game that I'm going to play with her um, and possibly other people as well. Now, what videos am I creating for it? My plan is to do some kind of tutorial and playthrough video for the game uh, or just a playthrough video, which will be live streamed and that will be coming out hopefully in November. But then sometime around December, January time, I will be actually working on one of my official uh, how to play videos for the game, which as you know, if you've watched any of my how to play videos, it's just me on camera, but it's properly scripted. Uh, it's pro professionally filmed. I say professionally filmed, it's me that does it. Professionally edited together. Um, and, and that's gonna be the official how to play video for the game. But I also, uh, as I say, they take a long time to create. And for this game, it's probably two weeks work at least. And I wasn't able to book it in until probably January, February time. I might be able to start earlier in December, depends on what's going on. But before that, I do want to do a playthrough of it sometime around November. Um, anyway, right, so yes, thank you very much to everybody for watching. Thank you very much for taking part in the chat. And as mentioned at the start, if you like the content that I create, then a lot of the videos that I make are not sponsored by any publisher. They are done purely through the support of my Patreon campaign. So if you want to sling me a dollar a month on my Patreon support, on my Patreon campaign, then, then feel free. It's always much appreciated. Anyway, for those of you tuning in for the Arkham Horror game later on tonight, I will see you then. Otherwise, I will say goodbye and thanks very much and I'll speak to you soon.